Grove, Czech Republic, Grove, the United States, Patterson of Australia, Elliott of Australia of the United States, uh, Wegerman goes in six, and Brazil's Cecilia Geronimo de Arrojo goes in seven. Lakeisha Patterson of Australia. Going in lane four. She's among the fastest of all the qualifiers. Wiggerman of the United States. She'll be swimming from lane six, but it's her compatriot Jessica Long who is the world record holder in this event. Checks with her. Going in lane two, Vendula Duskova. Watch out for Lakeisha Patterson. She's taken 20 seconds off her time over this distance over the last year alone. 17 years old. She's growing into her stroke. It's certainly a contender in this women's 400 meter freestyle. She goes in lane four. A slight delay on the starters blocks for the swimmers. Let's just to your screen, Duskova. Oh, great underwater from Madison Elliott of Australia, but alongside her, it's Patterson straight into her stroke. Going in lane seven, though, very really early on is the Brazilian swimmer. Closest to your screen, Cecilia Geronimo de Arrojo. But again, it's eight lengths of this 50 meter pool, the women's 400 meter freestyle. Who can find their rhythm early on? Patterson wanting to uh, touch first and does so, just a shade ahead of compatriot Elliott. It's Wiggerman and Bro of the United States who touch in third and fourth respectively. But the two Australians are uh, coming into their own and indeed Lakeisha Patterson as I say, 20 seconds off her time over the last year. She is somebody who is showing wonderful improvement over this distance and in this stroke. But at 17 years old, still learning a great deal about the art of swimming, the skill and the different aspects involved. Well, Patterson leading at the 100 meter ahead of her teammate, Elliot. And if any time to raise your game and deliver those personal bests, the Paralympic Games is the platform to do it on, so we'll expect to see more improvements from the young Australian. She's taking this race on, she's got that body length lead now over her teammate Elliot. And finding a nice rhythm, the 400 meter freestyle is all about finding that rhythm and seeing what you've got left at the end. And she's certainly into that now slow straight rate slowed down a little bit from the first opening hundred getting into the pace a two second lead Patterson has over her teammate Elliot and turning in third is bro of USA she's only been competing internationally really for the last two years is Lakeisha Patterson but already she's shown her ability in the shorter freestyle distances certainly was a medalist at the Commonwealth Games over 100 freestyle in the SA classification and already at the World Championships a silver medalist in the 50 free a couple of 4x100 uh, freestyle relay medals that she's picked up along the way including at the World Championships of gold there but in the 400 freestyle she started to come into her own, but she won the bronze in Glasgow last year at the World Championships. She swam at a 5.04 to win that bronze. 
but in qualifying for the Paralympic Games was down to 4.45. And already showing further intent here at the 250 meter mark, touches in 304.62. Elliot now just still trying to stay in touch with Patterson. Patterson has set this pace. Elliot won the bronze medal four years ago. She'll be hoping to improve on that, but it looks as though her teammate, Acacia Patterson, might be a little bit too far ahead to catch in these heats. But don't forget, things can change in the final. These athletes, some prefer to take it out hard in the morning sessions really see what form they're in and Patterson seems to be doing that now with just the final phase the final 100 meters of this race and Patterson with a very comfortable lead it's a good seven seconds ahead of compatriot Elliott who was a bronze medalist in this event at the Paralympic Games four years ago but somebody who picked up a, a host of medals in London four years ago four in total including a, a relay gold four by 100 relay uh, the world championships Six-time world champion is Elliot, but she's being left behind by her compatriot Patterson. Bro and Wigerman of the United States looked strong for a while, but just fading ever so slightly. It's Bro who's swimming stronger at the moment. Dushkova on her outside is trying to make up some time, but in the closing stages of this opening heat of the women's 400-meter freestyle, S8, it is indeed. Akisha Patterson, who is going to romp to victory. It's a very comfortable time. She'll go under the five minute mark, and that is a great marker over this distance. Uh, 457 37. Akisha Patterson of Australia touches well ahead of Madison Elliott. She's a regular five minute swimmer, 501 swimmer, Elliott. Touches in 509.85, so not expending all her energy. It's Bro of the United States, Brickle Bro. Touches third. Dushkova of Czech Republic, fourth, just outside 5.20. For Brazil, a cheer for the Arrojo. Oh, Wigerman, who faded in the closing stages, touches sixth. Oh, a little smile. A victory in the heats for Lakeisha Patterson. I think that's job done, she's saying. Made it look easy to Patterson in that first heat of the women's point of freestyle S8. She paced it, and I think she knows there's plenty more in the tank later this evening in the finals. Not to give away too much indeed, but solid swim from Patterson of Australia, who goes some five minutes. It's